Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jem and on my channel we do mostly sewing content here. And in this video, we're going to be going over the things that I'm going to be making in the month of December. So this month, I'm planning on making nine items. Two of them are a carryover from November that I did not finish. And I'm hoping that I will not just put them to the side again. But the rest are all new items, starting with this vision I've had for quite some time. I am planning to make my version of the holiday dress that Michelle Pfeiffer wears in the movie Grease 2. There is an entire skit musical part of the movie. I mean, it's a musical, it's Grease 2. There's the scene, it's called Girl for All Seasons. And that's the name of also the name of the song and the girls all have a, all these amazing costumes for each season and Michelle Pfeiffer's outfit has always been a goal for me to have to own to create and I am going to attempt it this month I have collected my little baggie here of tinsel and I've got the little red baubles and I found a white dress um, that I shared in my thrift haul, yeah, in November, that's also in here. And my plan is to recreate that dress just for shits and giggles, man. It's not even for anything. I have no other holiday parties where I'll be wearing this to. I've considered maybe wearing it to like, just go to like a bar's holiday party or something. I have no idea. We'll see. I'm very excited to make that and that's the first thing I'm planning. So the two um, things from last month that I didn't finish are the Claudette skirt and the robe. So I'm just gonna put them up on the screen now. So those are two things that I'm hoping to get done. The Claudette skirt is just a need for, well, they're both a need for my wardrobe and I need a black knit skirt. I tried making a black woven skirt last month and failed and so we're gonna try the knit version this time and see if we get better luck and then the robe is just something that I need in my wardrobe and I started it and then I was just like no I don't want to even work on this so those are two more things. The next item is part for me and part for my little dude. It is an advent calendar. I'm going to show it to you up on the screen, but I have like the little spreadsheet here that shows all the different designs. We don't have an advent calendar. I grew up with one and I loved it as a little kid. We had one where you moved a little mouse every day there was no like gifts or anything like that the, the whole thing was literally just moving the mouse and it was like me and my brother's favorite thing this one is just one i found online and i thought it was super cool and i've never made any felt things like this so i just thought i would give it a go as like a craft for the holidays and then something that me and my little guy can use for years to come i haven't decided if i'm gonna create a little creature also to go in it or just put little like gummies or something in it that he can have every day when he wakes up. Um, so that is the next thing we'll be making. The next item is a holiday party dress. So I have a holiday party that I'm going to for a friend's company and I wanted to make my dress for it. My dream was to do like a Christmassy theme, a green, red, gold, silver, something like that to go just be like ridiculous because it's like the only formal holiday event that I'm invited to currently um, and I just wanted to go all out for it so I found this fabric at a thrift store and I'm going to make the test one out of that it's just this black and white polka dot the dress that I'm going to be making I'll show you here it's a bias cut dress um because i've just found that i really like that cut on me so i'll be making a test one out of this and then the real one out of this green fabric that i'm not sure if i shared in any of my hauls but it's just one that i got from my creative reuse it's also a knit 
but it has the holiday vibe. So I'll be making a holiday dress for that party specifically. The next pattern I'm gonna be making is McCall's 8138. Um, you saw this in my recent haul. I'll be making it out of this houndstooth that you also saw in my recent haul. Um, this is just a knit houndstooth from Stone Mountain and Daughter. This is my second attempt to make a skater style dress with a mock neck. Um, and I'm hoping that this pattern I have better luck with than the one that I made in November. So here's hoping for that. The next dress that I'm going to be making is McCall's 8284. Um, this is also something that I shared in my haul. It's going to be going with these two fun, very festive fabrics that I got at my Creative Reuse store. Um, I'm going to be doing view D, um, and I'm really hoping it'll turn out cute. If not, it's fine, but I would really like to be ridiculously like festive in these super fun fabrics. So I try to make something for my little dude every month. This month I'm going to be making this vintage pattern 6562 that I got in a recent haul. I'm going to be making the full outfit for him. I don't know if I'll be doing the like the bear applique or not, maybe because I have some felt, but this is the fabric that I'm going to be using. It's from my stash. It's just this sweatery knit fabric that I scored at. Alameda Vintage Fair several years ago and I just really liked it. It's probably not vintage, it's probably new fabric, um, but I just thought he would look really cute in this and I want to try and make him like a little jogger set. Um, it does have ribbing and stuff on that and I do, I'll source that probably from my, my stash. The last thing that I'm making is for the Sew Society group that I'm a part of and they chose two different patterns. One is an indie pattern and the other is the Nomi 2058, which is a color block coat pattern. Not really my vibe at all, but I'm a part of this group just to like get out of my wheelhouse and make, make something different than I would normally make. So I think I'm going to go for the coat pattern and try and make it out of something from my stash and probably gift it to someone just make it in a larger size so it could be oversized on whomever and yeah just just try it because i i just really enjoy making the, the random bits that i've been making from this group that i'm a part of so that is everything that i'm planning on making in the month of december let me know in the comments down below which item you're most looking forward to seeing me create this month. And I want to thank everyone that has subscribed recently. We are at 151 subscribers as of today. I am so happy to have you guys here. Please feel free to give me some tips or hints on some of the issues that you've been seeing me have in some of the prior videos. I'm always looking for tips. Thank you guys so much for watching and make sure you smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And if there's any videos that you would like to see, um, please feel free to recommend them as well in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Mwah.